Hello, everybody. My name is Torrezano. This is the Affiliate Party Podcast. Today is episode 30, everybody. We've been doing this for a month. I think I missed maybe two days in the, in the, in the month. Maybe two days. Had a little family emergency for a day or two. But, um, yeah, 30 days of doing a podcast. Today we're going to talk about finding a niche for you. You finding a niche. You know, the main thing you want to do is, the main thing you want to do is when you start affiliate marketing is you want to pick something, stick with it, take it from there, you know. Health, wealth, and what? Relationships. But then... You just don't want to, you want to go down to a sub niche. You want to go, you know, if you want your health, you want, you know, keto diet. I think I might have talked about this last week or something like that, but I got a lot of energy today. So we're going to talk about this niche. We're going to, we're going to talk about finding you a niche and going with it, you know? So why do you want to, the top, the, well, you can do anything you want to, you know, but if you want to generate some, you know, essential money in the uh, affiliate marketing space, then health, wealth, and, you know, relationships are the top three. Now, of course, you know, you can talk about whatever you want to, but we're going to talk about these three things today because they are the three most, you know, um, money-making, you know, uh, life-impacting, you know, things that you can get involved in, in, in affiliate marketing. So, Let's say if you want to talk about, we'll say wealth. You know, if you want to do, if you want to, if you want to be an affiliate for business opportunities, then that's always something. You, that's always something you can get into. If you talk about relationships, you know, if you want to talk about dating, being married, um, you know, divorce, you know, any kind of any kind of niche, any kind of sub niche like that would be good for you. And what's the other one? We just talked about wealth. We talked about relationships and health. You know, of course, is. There's plenty of things you can do with health when it comes to health, dieting, staying in shape, uh, you know, pregnant moms, um, people with bad prostates, anything, anything you can do with health. You can always sub niche it and then you can take it from there and you can you can find products on places like ClickBank or JVZoo, things of that nature. You can find your product. You can start promoting the product and all that good stuff. Now. The niche you want to choose is something that you think you you would enjoy. You just, I'm not saying you have to have a, you don't have to have a passion for, you know, um, marriage, anything like that. But if you think it's something you would like, something you would like to get into, then go for that. Don't do something that you, would, don't do anything that you like. I'm not going to do a, I'm not going to be a, an affiliate for anything that has to do with stocks. Cause I mean I like stocks, but I don't like them. I don't like. I don't want to sit there and talk about them all day. I don't want to think about them all day like that. I don't want to write emails about stocks, you know. So I'm not gonna get into the stock market, you know. That's just me. I mean, you might enjoy the stocks. You might enjoy, uh, you know, real estate things of that nature. So you always want to find something that you don't have to have a. You don't have to. You don't have to be like I wake up and I drink. <laughs> I wake up and I drink uh, relationships. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to be that enthused. Um, when I went to a uh, quick story, when I went to truck driving school, when I went to truck driving school, it was the guy. He said uh, we was he was we was outside, we was outside in in the sun, and we was out there working on backing and everything. And uh, one of the instructors said, "So you guys are excited to be uh you know getting in the truck driving?" This one guy he said, "Yeah, I I drink diesel fluid." He said, "Well, buddy, if you drink diesel fluid, you'll be dead." So. You know, I mean, the more of that story is you don't have to go, you don't have to go overboard with the uh, niche you choose or the sub niche you get yourself into. But as long as you have a curiosity for it, as long as you have a, you think it's something you can want to talk about for a while, you know, you, you it's something that you can do. So that's that. That's that's finding the niche. It's plenty. Of, it's plenty of ways you can go. And um, and the main the main reason why you want to go from a. a the main reason why you want to pick a niche, a niche, a niche and then a sub niche is you just don't want to talk about health because it's too many, it's too many variables when it comes to health. You know, you might have you know breast cancer, prostate cancer, all kinds of cancers, all kinds of diseases. You know, pregnancies, um, 
you know, lose weight, feel like a 600 pound life, you know, people want to lose weight. I mean, everybody always has something going on in the health. There's so many different fields of the health, of the health industry that, you know, it's just hard to say, hey, I, I do health. I do affiliate marketing for health, you know. So, it's just like um, any the rest of them too, you know, relationships or, you know, wealth. It's so many op- so many avenues you can go on wealth. Like right now, I'm in the business opportunity affiliate marketing thing, but I think I'm going to get out of that. I don't think I really, I mean, I like it. It's all right, but I think it's other things I want to do in the affiliate marketing world. So I myself have to find another niche. But for now, I'm going to stick to the uh, business opportunity niche because I've done a lot of study. I've done a lot of studying about it. I've done a lot of writing about it. So, you know. But if you want to learn things about um, it's this book I bought, Blue Ocean Strategy How to Create Uncontested Market Space and Make the Competition Irrelevant. You know, this is the book I bought. So I. I've studied, I've read this book. It's a pretty good book. It's, uh, it just talks about building your own little, because, uh, one thing I read a book with, uh, Russell Brunson when I first started online marketing and he was talking about red ocean and blue ocean. And I didn't understand that first. And it, I was, it's hard to figure out, but basically what they're saying is create your own little, you know, niche or niche or find something that you know, that you can plant your flag in that not a lot of people are, you know, involved in. But even if you are, even if you do find a niche that a lot of people are involved in, you just have to, you just work harder and work smarter than them people and you'll figure it out. And you'll, you'll beat your competition. So don't worry about that. That's why I always say um, people worry about so many people in the affiliate market and don't worry about it. Once you get, once you get some traction and once you get things going, you figure things out and you're more you know, of course, you're more entertaining than that than the other person, or you write better emails, you write better copy, or anything like that. You'll beat your competition, so don't worry about that. But just find you a niche, stick with it. You know, study it up, write about it. And you don't have to write. You don't have to be born about when you're writing. Um, just like I write emails for you know um, business opportunities, but I I just don't sit there and say. You know, ninety-seven uh, percent of the business of of blah 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 blah. Because I mean, that's that's boring after a while. You know, you wanna you wanna tell a few stories. You wanna inject some of your own personal, you know, life in there and your own stories. You might see a TV show that you like or something like that. You you can always intertwine everything in there. You know, you gotta be a little, you gotta be a little entertaining. <laughs> I mean, see, so you know, that's one thing about you know getting into. A, that's one thing about getting into this online world. You have to, you have to stand out from the competition. You know, no matter what niche, if it's, if it's crowded, if it's packed, if it's a hundred thousand people in there, if you stand out, if you do your own thing, you your own person, you gonna work. It's gonna work out for you just fine. So, don't worry about that. Just pick it. Just pick one. Go for it. After a while, if you don't like it, you can always swap out. So. That's that's it. That's it today for about niches. So, yeah, check out the. Uh, you can always check out the book Blue Ocean Strategy. Um, it's a pretty good book. I have a lot of books that I've read. A lot of books that I still need to read. But one thing about it, when you want to start, you want to start in this line of work. You don't have to read. You don't have to read. You don't have to buy a lot of books like me. I just like to read books. But um, just get you a couple books and. So you can study up on your study up on what you you know. It's just like if you um if you get in the health business and you want to write about I mean, you know, cancer, you you wanna you wanna do a little research about cancer, you know, you just don't wanna go in there and not be you know. Unfortunately it's a little you gotta do a little bit of research, a little bit of work to uh, you know, really dig deep if you wanna get your business you know, if you wanna get your business sustained and you wanna and you wanna Get the money rolling in, you know. You gotta do a little work. You gotta put a little work behind it. You gotta put a little muscle behind the hustle. But you don't have to hustle twenty four seven. You don't have to be Gary V. You know, don't don't listen to that. don't listen to Gary V. You know, take take a break. You know, hustle, 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 hustle. Don't don't fall for that shit. But anyway, enough about niches. Um, today today is the thirtieth episode of the podcast. So if you enjoy the podcast, you like the podcast. You can always hit me up 
Um, I have an email address. It's Tony at the lousy driver.com. You can email me there if you have any questions about affiliate marketing. If you have any questions about the show, if you enjoy the show, you can hit me up there, you know. So that's that. It's the third of the day. I figured I'd wait for a while because I figured who's listening to this, you know. But I think some I think people I think people are actually listening. So it's gonna be month two. We're gonna get the pot. We're gonna we're gonna still be entertaining, but we're gonna get a little more structured with the podcast. We're gonna get the podcast down pat. But the one thing we won't do, we won't take away from the entertainment. We'll be we'll be entertaining, but we also be educating at the same time. Because nobody wants to be bored. Nobody sit, wants to sit here and listen to a boring podcast. But I'm not George Carlin. I'm not Richard Pryor. I can't sit here for two hours and just tell jokes. I'm not Dave Chappelle, you know. So we'll do a little bit of both. We'll educate. We'll entertain. We'll, we'll all have fun. Hopefully, the longer we do this, the more people come aboard, the more fun we can have. We'll even start doing, eventually, we'll start doing interviews, we'll interview people. Hell, we might, even, we might even start interviewing some of you and your journey with affiliate marketing, all right? All right, that's all we got today. I, uh, oh, yeah, also let me know, <laughs> also let me know if this is too loud. My wife claims that I talk very loud now in my, in my, in my older age. I don't, I don't see it. I mean, I'm... I have a lot of enthusiasm when I get on here and do these. <clears throat> I have a lot of enthusiasm when I get on here and do these podcasts. So I might talk loud. Sometimes I might talk fast, but I'm just excited. I get. I have a little adrenaline rush. Very excited to be here with you. Like I said, hope you enjoy it. Gonna get. This is gonna get better. It's already good. It's getting good. Getting progressive. Like I said. Be more topics, more things coming. All right. I know I said, oh yeah, Tony at thelousydriver.com. Check me out on YouTube. Just type in Tony Rosano. Last name is R E S O N N O. Subscribe to the channel. I took down all my videos, but we got to make better videos. The videos, they were shit. So I didn't want you to waste your time watching those videos. But anyway. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to come back with good videos, entertaining videos, hard-hitting videos. But anyway, like I said, I, I should just do one. They say you should just say one thing, at, one thing a podcast. So I'll repeat myself again. Tony at thelousydriver.com. You can email me if you got questions, anything like that. I know I said that three times already, but sometimes repet- repetition is okay. All right. That being said, it's time for me to go. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Tell a friend. Share with a friend. I don't know. Uh, You know? And uh, yeah, that's it for now. We will come. We will be be back tomorrow with another award winning podcast. All right? Until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. This is the Affiliate Party Podcast. And as always, peace.